What's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about should you cut up your credit cards? So before I start this video, hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button because I'm doing a giveaway which I can get into at the end. So in this video, I wanted to go over the pros and cons of cutting up your credit cards. Um, there are a lot of people out there that say, hey, you shouldn't cut up your credit cards, always keep them open, always make purchases, do whatever, do this, do that. Um, so I'm gonna give you the pros and cons in cutting up your credit cards. So when you cut up your credit cards, what actually happens? Do you know? I do, but I'm waiting for you. What actually happens is nothing at all. Um, the only thing you're doing differently is you're not using the card actively. Now, some cards out there have a problem with you not being active and they charge like a fee. That's why you need to read fine print. And there are some out there that will close your account after a certain period of time. But for me, it really benefits me. And I'll tell you why uh, cutting up your credit cards can help you, but also be a downfall in certain situations. So what I do is I do a lot of credit card churning. If you haven't seen my credit card churning video, I can post that link down below. Credit card churning involves me getting a lot of credit cards for their bonuses. Um, so I'm constantly applying to credit cards, opening up new accounts and, you know, churning bonuses basically. So to pivot really quick, how do I do this and how do I remain with a great credit score? So basically to sum it up, I have a hard inquiry every time I apply for an account, then I have a credit line. As long as the credit line is large, it pretty much negates the hard inquiry. So that's what I look at when I do all of my credit churning, uh, credit card churning. Why does this benefit me cutting up my cards? One, I don't have a ton of cards sitting out there. So if someone robs my house and takes all my credit cards, then I have to go through the processes of remembering which ones I have open, closing all of them, uh, worrying about paying them off. It, it's, it's a hassle. You can see how it can be a hassle. And then someone has your information, uh, racks up $5,000, $7,000 of credit card debt, and then now you have to pay it off or you have to go through a long process in order to get it like wiped away. So that is a, a con to having your credit cards available to anybody that you don't use. So what I look at when I cut up my credit cards is um, how long am I going to be using it for? Am I going to be using it for the three months to get the bonus? And then what am I going to be using it for after that? So a lot of credit cards, I have things that I can use it for. If they offer 3% or 2% back on certain areas, then I'll keep the card. I won't cut it up. But if the card is very similar to something that I already have, like say the Chase Freedom Unlimited card, that's 1.5% cash back, um, and I have a 1.5% cash back card with the Quicksilver card, I would cut up one of those cards um, just because I'm not gonna use it. Now, I would read the fine print and see if they have any types of fees for inactivity or if they're gonna close my account for inactivity. Most of the time, what they're gonna do is close your account after your card is expired. So once your card hits its expiration date, you're no longer gonna need to worry about that card unless it has a balance on it. I feel like it's a pro for me to cut up cards. Um, just because I do it so effectively. I use it for three months. If I have any reason to use it after that, then I use it. If I don't, I cut it up so I don't have a ton of cards laying out there. The only problem that I have if I don't cut it up, then I'm gonna go and use it and it's not activated because I haven't used it in such a long time and I don't know that the expiration date was gone. I actually had that happen to me before and it's kind of embarrassing thinking that you know you have a card that's invalid and you're using it at different places it doesn't really help you out, doesn't really benefit you. Um, but if you can cut that up and use the cards that you know that you're going to have um, and that are going to work, then, you know, do it because it's just going to benefit you in the long run in so many areas. So my recommendation is cut up your cards um, if you're not using them, because then nobody can get your information. Um, you don't have the mistake of using it and getting embarrassed. Um, and you're still building your credit score without using tons of different cards because then you forget about paying off a certain card because you haven't used it in so long. So people say, oh, just store it away and put it in a safe somewhere. Um, people can steal that safe. So I recommend cutting up your cards. That's my opinion. But there are other people that say don't cut up your cards. What are the benefits to not cutting up your cards? So one benefit would be that you're able to use it um, even after the fact that it's expired because you're getting a new card in the mail for the fact that you have it active. 
So if you keep using it, you use it once every month and then pay it off right away, um, which is a hassle to have to do. So I'm kind of making that into a negative. I'm sorry for this, um, which is a hassle to have to do, but you're able to sustain that card and ultimately have a longer age of credit. Um, for me, my age of credit is hovers somewhere around three to five, usually because of the fact that I let it live its life and then um, it's gone. I don't get anything in the mail telling me that I'm getting a new card, anything like that. Um, all of my store cards um, that I don't use anymore, those live its life and they usually live to about three to five years whenever or whenever they decide to cancel it or close it due to inactivity. Um, but I'm getting useful life out of it. Now, the age of credit is not really going to benefit you significantly. If you're looking to get a perfect credit score, then I understand. But if you're not looking to get a perfect credit score, if you're looking to just gain the most money out of credit cards, then you do it my way. Just cut up your credit cards. Don't worry about it. Don't have to worry about any bills at all. I was going to cut up a card. I was going to cut up a card on camera, but I don't have any cards to cut right now because I cut up all my cards that I don't use. So maybe I'll cut one up another time. But I think you should cut up your cards if you're not using them just to remain safe um, because right now it's all about being safe on the internet. Again, hit that like button if you like this video. I know this wasn't a full in-depth video that you probably expected, but you should cut up your cards. So go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait. Whew. Also, comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video and any other video concept you wanna talk about. Um, if you do cut up your cards, do you see a benefit? If you don't cut up your cards, um, do you see a benefit? You know, let's do a debate. Let's have a debate down in the comment section. So um, shoot me a comment down below. Also consider subscribing because I'm doing a giveaway. Every milestone that I hit, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you'll be entered for this giveaway and every other giveaway from there on out. Um, but until next time, I'll see you guys later.